Okay, now what we're going to be doing is trying to uh, convert between both the U.S. and metric uh, systems. So this is one of the bigger problems that we run into in the world, is that a group of people like Americans use the U.S. system and then Europeans use the metric. So we have to be able to convert from one to the other. And the standard conversions that we're going to use here are one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, one foot is approximately 0.305 meters, one yard is approximately 0.914 meters, and so on and so forth. And so these are now new conversion factors, which remember means you can switch these into one inch over 2.54 centimeters, or you could do it the other way around, 2.54 centimeters over one inch and so on and so forth. So each for each one of these there's two different things you could write down. So let's take a look at our first example here. Our first example is convert 120 kilometers to miles. So we do have a conversion here from kilometers to miles. Here it is. So I'm going to write 120 kilometers over one times, now I want the kilometers on the bottom so I put kilometers here and put miles on top and the, the conversion is that one mile is 1.61 kilometers. Now the kilometers will cancel and we multiply straight across. When we multiply straight across, we get 120 miles over 1.61. So now what we do is divide 120 divided by 1.61. And that's approximately equal to 74.5 it says to round to one decimal place, so I'm just going to uh, 74.5 miles. And that's it. Okay, let's do 4,500 kilograms over one, and let's try and get that to tons. So here's what we know. We know that kilogram is one pound, and then we remember from previously, 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton. That's from our U.S. Um, measurements. That was the table from 8.1. So we're going to need that here. So first we're going to get rid of kilograms. We're going to go kilogram here and pound here. And we know that 0.45 kilograms is one pound. And then we want to get rid of the pounds. So we put pounds on the bottom. And here we put ton. And we know one ton is 2,000 pounds. So our kilograms will cancel. Our pounds will cancel and we multiply across, so we should get 4,500 tons on top, and on the bottom, we have to do 0.45 times 2,000, and that'll be 900, and now we do 4,500 divided by 900, and we get five, so five tons. Right, so it's pretty much the same thing we're, we've been, we're doing before. We just have new conversion factors to use. All right, and we might have to call on some of the ones we've already used. All right, so for group work, let's go four feet to meters and 0.3 pounds to kilograms. So let's try and do the four feet to meters. So four feet over one times, let's see if we have anything that goes from feet to meters. And we do, there it is. One foot is 0 0.305 meters. So we put feet on the bottom, one foot is 0 0.305 meters. Double check that, yes. Okay, feet cancel, multiply straight across, four times 0 0.305 should give you 1.2, it wants us to round in one decimal point place, so 1.2 meters, there we go. All right, let's go 0.3 pounds. We're gonna try and go to kilograms, so let's see what we've got up here. We've got pounds to kilograms right there. So one pound is 0.45 kilograms. So we're gonna put pounds on the bottom, one pound is 0.45 kilograms. And we cancel the pounds, and so we're multiplying 0.3 times 0.45 on our calculator, and we get 0.135 kilograms, but they want us to round to the nearest uh, one decimal place, so 0.1 kilograms. 
Okay, that's it for that. Let's do a word problem here. At a grocery store, Debbie compares prices of a two liter bottle of water and a six pack bo of bottle of water. The two liter bottle price is $159. The six packs cost $360. Each bottle in the six pack uh, contains 24 fluid ounces. Compare the cost of water per quart. Which is the better buy? Okay, so let's see. There's a two liter bottle of water compared to a six pack. All right, that's what we're comparing. Now the two liter bottle, two liter bottle is priced at $1.59. And then we have the six pack, but the six pack contains um, 24 ounce bottles. So if we do six times 24 on our calculator, we get 140, we're getting 144 ounces for $3.60. Okay, so it wants us to compare this two liter bottle to the six pack here of 24 ounce bottles and figure out what the cost per quart is. So I need to convert, first of all, two liters to quarts. Okay, so two liters, let's see if we can get from liters to quarts. So over here, we have right here. 0.95 liters is one quart. So I'm going to go and say uh, 0.95 liters is one quart. Okay, let me double check that. 0.95 liters. So, so remember, I put the liters on the bottom so they'll cancel. So this is going to be um, two over two quarts over 0.95. So I go ahead and divide that, 2 divided by 0.95 on my calculator. I get about 2.11, I'm going to round to do that, two decimal places, uh, quarts. Okay, so that's how much I'm getting in the, the 2 liter bottle, 2.11 quarts. Um, now over here, we need to go from ounces to quarts. So from ounces to quarts, so what we'll have to do is go from ounces to milliliters and then milliliters to quarts. So this is going to require two different things here. Or, you know what we could do is go to section, let's see if I can bring up 8.1 here real quick. Believe we, we believe we have an ounces to quarts. Let's see. Mm, we do not. But we have ounces to cups and cups to quarts. So let's just do this real quick. Ounces, eight ounces in a cup and four cups in a quart. So we have eight ounces equals one cup and four cups equals one quart. Double check that. Yeah, four cups. Okay, so what we know here is that we can go 144 ounces over one times, we're gonna go, ounces need to go away, so eight ounces in one cup, and then multiply that by, we want the cups to go away, so four cups is one quart. So the ounces cancel, the cups cancel. On top we have 144, and on the bottom we have, what is that, 32. This would be quarts. So we have 144 divided by 32. It's 4.5 quarts. Okay, so the six pack of 24 ounce water bottles gives us 4.5 quarts. This two liter gives us 2.1 quarts. Obviously this is more water, but we're looking at the cost. So what we want to do now is find the unit cost. So what we're going to do is take our 360 and divide it by $3.60 uh, $3 and divide it by the 4.5 quarts. This will give us our unit cost. So we go 3.6 and we divide that by 4.5. And that means we are spending $0.8 or 80 cents per quart here. On this one, we're going to take our $1.50 
and divide that by the 2.11 quarts, and this will be 1.5 divided by 2.11, and we get um, 0.71 dollars per quart. So it turns out that this is smaller. This is this is the way to go. That's cheaper. It's cheaper to buy the two liter bottles. You spend less money per quart that way. All right, the last thing we have here is talking about temperature. And in terms of temperature, we, we measure things using two different temperature scales. Well, there's actually three of them, but we're, we're only going to talk about two of them, the Fahrenheit scale and the Celsius scale. Fahrenheit is what we're used to using, right? When it's 100 degrees out in the summer, we're talking about Fahrenheit. Celsius is a different one. So in our Fahrenheit scale, water freezes at 32 degrees, but on the Celsius, it freezes at zero. Water boils at 100 here, but it boils at 212 here. So these are just two different scales. So we need to be able to convert from one to the other. So the way you convert is to use one of these formulas. So to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, <coughs> all you do is put your degrees Celsius here and com compute this and it will give you your degrees in Fahrenheit. Another way to do it is to just do this formula. Put your Celsius here, multiply by 1.8 and then add 32. Here, if you're going the other way from Fahrenheit to Celsius, put your Fahrenheit here, subtract 32, divide by 1.8. So let me show you how we can do this. If I want to do this Fahrenheit over to Celsius, then I'm going to be using this formula. So I will plug in 113. Oops. So I'm using the formula here, replacing F with 113. So my degrees in Celsius are going to be 113 minus 32 over 1.8 and then I just do that on my calculator 113 divided or minus 32 do that first you get 81 then divided by 1.8 and you get 45 degrees Celsius uh, put that down. degrees Celsius all right so <clears throat> this one, you give it a uh, temperature in Celsius, now we want to go to Fahrenheit. So it's asking, is it hot or cold outside? If it's 35 degrees Celsius. So to use that, to do that, I'm going to use this formula. So I multiply by 1.8 and I add 32. So degrees in Fahrenheit is going to be this um, 1.8 times the Celsius. So 1.8 times the 35, and then I'm going to add to that 32. So I go 1.8 on my calculator times 35. That gives me 63 plus 32. And that gives me 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which I would say is a hot day. Okay, hopefully this is enough to get you through the homework videos. Um, we'll meet online and talk about any questions you might have. Thank you.